thank you very much. Is there more here than came to see Vice President Biden? Yeah. 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 <laughs> thank you very much. I can't tell you enough what this means. We, we began 277 days ago, and here we are here today. And you know what the polls said this morning, correct? Yeah. But there's more to be done, and I need you. I need you more than you know. There's many standing here from Greg to others who were here on the very first day. And we were out there for the working families of Pennsylvania. I love Washington, D.C., but it's Pennsylvanians that are going to make the decision over who their next senator is going to be. And I can't thank you enough for being here. I, appreciate, I very much appreciate the service of our inspector, but it's time. It is time to move forward. For someone who didn't stand alongside George Bush, as much as I respect him as a president, I disagree. And I believe that there has to be a change down there. And this president went down to change Washington. But it wasn't just a change in policy. It was a change in politics. To where I believe Massachusetts said pox on both your houses down there. We wanted a change also in politics. Well, people are down there out of conviction to where really principle triumphs over politics, to where we seize the White House out of audacity, not political calculation, and we're gonna do the same in yes. this next seat for the next senator from Pennsylvania. Yes. Yes. I could go on and on and on, and we are for 10 more days. <laughs> but I just wanna pause, you don't, for a guy who served 37 years in the U.S. military and loved sailors. After those last aircraft would land from Afghanistan or when we did the precursor combat ops in Iraq, usually two or three in the morning, I'd walk around the ship, the aircraft carrier, to calm down after the troops were home, as we said, but also to sit on the mess decks and just talk. I loved it. I tell everybody I've got the next best job if you can't be in the United States Navy. And I do have the next best job. I want to be your public servant. I owe you. You not only gave me 31 wonderful years out there, but you saved my daughter. And I don't forget it any day. We began this last journey <laughs> I didn't expect ever to run for this seat. When I went around those 67 counties last July to decide whether to get in when others in Washington, in Harrisburg, were saying, sit down, I had to decide. And I saw my sailors, <laughs> a farmer, who literally when I asked him how the recession was, said, not too bad. I was hurting already so much. I do believe in hope. I do believe in trust. And I do believe that people want to believe again. But now, it doesn't only take a change that you vote for. It takes a change you fight for. And I promise you, because of how much support I've gotten from you, that I'm not going to let you down. I will be here after I'm elected. You're going to be tired of seeing me. And I say, is in these last 10 days, please help us. You're not doing it for Joe Sestak, because it isn't about Joe Sestak. And it isn't about Arlen Specter. And we should respect the man. But people are hurt, and they want to believe. But this time, this president needs more warriors in that Senate who is going to help him by being his strongest ally, not a yes man, but someone who really is in it for the same reasons he is. Americans. Americans who are middle class, lower income, waiting to drive the economy forward. And we respect those who have been very fortunate on the wealth. But to my mind, this is really about us. And as I am, please know, I could always lose this. But I can't win it without you. And that's why I need you.
If my wife was here, she says, shut up now, Joe. <laughs> they were at the other rally the other day. And for those who know me, and many of you have now gotten to know me, there's a couple faces out there I don't recognize. And I'm thanking you for being here. But I promise you that in these remaining 10 days, you're going to have, as we drive overnight to Pittsburgh tonight, get in about 3 a.m. And then we leave Pittsburgh tomorrow and I get back in Philadelphia at 3 a.m. that you will have, after this election, the hardest working, most honest, most accountable senator. But help me now. Help me make those calls. Help me please contact everyone to not only believe in us, but to come out and vote. And then you hold me accountable when this election is over to do what we know has to be done in Pennsylvania to help this President of the United States President Barack Obama achieved what has to be done for our nation. Thank you very much.